too. Okay, top 10 cancelled anime that everyone wants back. Let's see if we want these back. I don't even know which ones they are, but yeah. The anime that continue in the industry of anime, the continuation of a series depends on many factors. One of these important factors is the revenue it brings back the studios responsible for animating it. And as such, the fate of anime is dependent on a wide criteria. That is why for today we will be talking about the top 10 anime that got cancelled but deserve a continuation. But before we start, be sure to hit the subscribe button and press on that bell icon and set us all to be notified about all our latest new videos. Oh, and one more thing, beware of the following spoilers. Coming in number 10 oh, is no. Dead Man Oh, okay, no. Okay, the main character of this anime was framed for the gruesome death of his whole class just because he was the only one surviving the incident, and the masked assailant that caused it all disappeared without a trace. Though through certain events, the main character was thrown into an underground type of tournament where he has to fight and persevere if he wishes to survive and have a taste of freedom once more in his life. This main character, among others, has the ability to form constructs using blood to fight with. Cool animation. The mysterious girl in love with him is none other than the masked assailant. And just what are her motives? She, she's that beats cool. Me. Simply because the anime was scrapped and we never got a season two. Oh, the no. anime seemed great as a premise and something new added to the genre. However, its sales failed drastically and the anime was dashed ever since. Coming at number nine is Batum. Playing as a 3D character in a game is one thing. However, having your life turn into that said game is a whole different matter, especially when the stakes are the highest. Your life. This main character was shipped off to an abandoned island after his mother sold him off, sort of, to a shady company that holds battle royales, Batum style, on an abandoned island. This main character, however, is one of the highest ranking players in that game, and this expertise when it comes to the game is going to prove vital to him if he ever hopes of returning to civilization someday, and leave that godforsaken island behind forever. Even though the series is action-packed, interesting, and has an... I like what, um, when it comes to this anime, what I like is that it looks a bit more serious than other ones. Amazing plot. Like more dark. The show was nonetheless cancelled due to the atrocious sales of the Blu-ray and DVD copies. Just like that, another anime bites the dust due to lack of sales. But God, I want a season two. Coming in number eight is Gate. This anime came out in 2016, breaking the norms and destroying the teenage hero cliche, dropping us into the life of an average Joe fighting for his country against an enemy they don't even completely Whoa, understand dragon. that appeared out of nowhere. The premise of this anime was more than intriguing, and all the fans clamored to watch such a norm-breaking show. The animations were amazing, and let's be honest, watching a dragon fighting a fucking tank was practically everybody's dream to see yeah! the best. The show was such a success, it received a volume two continuation two years later. However, when it came for a season three, the studio responsible for the production of the series said that the animation process is causing them a lot of difficulties and issues and it has been on hiatus ever since. Let's just hope that this won't be permanent, like the fate of some other shows. Coming in number seven is Beelzebub. It's so sad. The show about a naked baby looking for a human father and mother to raise it. <laughs> and apparently- Why did they have to precise the naked part? <laughs> Hey yo, you know what? I have a great idea. Let's make an anime about a naked baby trying to find mommy and daddy. That sounds like a great idea. Probably would be like something that we can have eight seasons of. Yeah. Apparently he is too damn powerful. All hell fears his power and is a candidate to become the king of hell as well. And that's just a baby. Um, a naked one to say the least. The powers this baby has are just way it's too out of this world, and even though at its heart it's a comedy and the powers of Baby Beals are just undeniable, and many other adversaries attempted to get rid of him, but they all fail nonetheless. The show is such a gem, however, <gasps> due to some stupid- It's Zoro when he was a baby! Baby Zoro! Complaints concerning Beals being naked all the time, the show was cancelled. Let's just hope it returns someday with all its prime <laughs> and glory. Coming in number six is No Game No Life. 
the uncrowned king and queen of games got an invitation by a god to a chess game. With his younger sister, these two were able to defeat a god in a game of chess. This so, that sounds so cool. Upon their victory, the god sucked them into an alternate world where games could decide the fate of countries and kingdoms. Oh my god. This world god. is all about gambling and it doesn't matter what uh, or with the or gambling. who you are gambling as long as you are. Kick like One that. day you could be a ruler of a prosperous kingdom and the very next day you could lose it in a game of rock, paper, scissors. Oh, that actually happened by the way. This was but one tiny example of the high stakes these games the main character and his sister took part in. Are you ready? However, Three, two, one. The show didn't do as well as it was expected to, causing the studio to cancel the show since they had no way to justify the cost of producing another series. Just like that, another gem in the rough was buried forever to this day. Coming on number five is Noragami. An ex-god of war decided to end the bloodshed and atone for his sins and just live an unmeaningful existence with not even a shrine to call his own. Helping people and spreading his number everywhere in order to help as many people as he could. He even called himself the god of deliveries for that goal. Yato has a lot of blood on his hands, however. He is trying to be better for the sake of a better world, even if it was minor. He just wanted to make some change for the better for once in his pathetic existence. And yet again, another show that could have been big, but due to circumstances okay. uncontrolled by anyone or anything, the show had Weird major bit sales animation. equal to 4,000 copies for season 1 and 1.5,000 copies for season 2. Even the manga was going under by not Man, creating revenue for you every enough for the studio to keep the show alive. <laughs> this show needs a season 3 ASAP, as we all love the show and wanted to watch oh, it so eagerly. Oh, this is cute. Coming in number 4 is, Why is she hitting Maji. Him? As Maggie. anime scalers, we already Yo, know. Yo, just... it's like Maggie or Maji. Maji is like th these cubes, chicken and broth, chicken broth cubes and stuff, right? <laughs> I remember those, yeah. How powerful and I don't think well they have them in Sinbad Germany, though. When it comes to scaling someone. Sinbad is way up on the list just before an arguably Wait, right beside Akutu Sai. Wait, is the name Sinbad? I'm sorry, again? We oh, the name is Maji. Just how yeah, powerful sorry. and well known Sinbad is when it comes to ah. scaling someone. Sinbad is way up on the list just before and arguably right beside Akutu Sai. This looks so good. This and guy looks even so the good. Likes of a bit Arabic. Beings that are able to dismantle the entire <gasps> fabric of reality oh my God, and it's even an Arab world. and erase reality Look at these or assassins. parts of it as they see fit. Sinbad in the show, however, isn't the main character. The main character is someone that could become powerful enough to rival even Sinbad if given time. Okay, this I would watch this, but I'm sad the that there is Aladdin. And this Matt is the story Aladdin. of his journey in the marvelous Come on, world they have Sinbad, Aladdin. King Solomon. Aladdin as a magi is instructed to lead humanity this into a new is, era this is great. of peace I'm so sad and this a is... safe life by choosing a king Aww, worthy of such tasks. This is so cool. Enter Alibaba. A young Alibaba king that is still well. learning and evolving, molding his character into a person they fit to rule They took historical figures too, That's and fantasy. That's the premise of the show, including the amazing battles, out-of-this-world animations, and powerful Jin equips. This anime, however, for some reason, after its second season, just dipped <laughs> and was gone. Not a trace. Except for the manga, of course. And just by reading a few panels, I can already tell you this. If you thought the battles in season 1 and 2 were hype, then you haven't seen anything yet. Coming in number three is Bakano. The story is outstanding and excels in its non-linearity. The characters can be related to easily and Bacano. have cool and fun personalities. Add to that some powers and immortal beings and you get Bakano. Bacano. This anime isn't a masterpiece, albeit, but it is still a very good show and ah. an enjoyable series to watch. It is short I'm not and you can a fan of the animation. It, it looks city. a bit oldy. The anime, however, due to its new style and non-linear, somehow convoluted story, received a lot of criticism with the fans unable to understand what exactly is going on in the yeah. show. And add to the fact that the anime sales weren't that good in Japan, and even after the shows was shipped and broadcast overseas, the DVD sales and Blu-ray versions didn't break even. Uh, it's a shame. I have really. a question before we continue. Uh, for people who are uh, so much more into anime and know things, uh, especially mangas, uh, do all animes are all animes based on mangas? And depending on how uh, those mangas are popular, or do you have animes that are from scratch starting as animes and then after that become a manga, or they never maybe even 
become a manga, just anime, like they're popular as that? I would like to know. Coming in number two is Grand Blue. This is your go-to anime whenever you feel down in life and tired of its back-breaking responsibilities. Oh, this the show is all is so... about having some fun time by the <laughs> scene through the adventures of the <laughs> guy the character into I mean, joining it them. was blurred, Shortly but still. Shortly after, though, he becomes the heart hey, and yo. soul of the diving <laughs> club team with their go merry lifestyle. Oh my god, the bro. Show... Is this like, their face, like, they're supposed to be, like, kind of scared -y, but, like, really scary. But kind of funny, you know, they were trying to go with the funny style and it's not really working. This is terrifying. This is uh, Attack on Titan type. Great lifestyle. The show was quite fun with a lot of fan service and amazing scenes hey, of the ocean showing service. just how beautiful okay, it is. Okay, all right, I see, I see. However, like everything in life, the show had a purpose. And once that purpose was fulfilled, the show had to go. Grand what Blue series purpose? only existed to promote the manga panels, and since the manga is on hiatus with no clue when it will ever return, um. the anime had no purpose anymore, and it got cancelled. So for they that even make reason. animes and they make animes just to promote the mangas. Like for them, the mangas are so much more important sales wise than the success of an anime. Wow, that is crazy. To think of. And uh, number one, we have Hunter Hunter. I will <gasps> not bother and explain what this. Oh my God! I want to cry. I want to cry. This is the one of the best enemies ever. Hunter Hunter 2011. Bro, I watched it with my community. By the way, I watched it with my subscribers. Like, I watched it twice. I think twice at this point. And I will rewatch it again. I feel like I want to rewatch it again. Maybe like uh, watch it for my YouTube channel, the Bunny May YouTube channel. It was so good. It, it's so sad, bro. It is so sad. This anime is because even is if one you of the live best under anime. a stone. But the good thing you have so many episodes to watch. So even even though we're waiting, it has 100 here. It says 148 episodes. So you can still watch it you know but it, it's sad that it's buried 50 miles into the earth's crust we you would still know about this show and just how impactful it was to many people across the globe my generation practically grew up with the show however we are cursed with the fact that the laziest mangaka on this good earth is the one responsible for drawing it like i can't believe it man i can't believe it's so good the thing about this anime that in my opinion was better than any other anyway is the when it comes to the fight scenes every character and their abilities and stuff they would like call it out and they were literally explain exactly what their abilities and their moves are doing it is so hype bro this sorry excuse of a mangaka is the worst thing that ever happened in the history of manga and anime and trust me some serious shit went down over the years when it comes to anime this man is the sole and only reason for the discontinuation of Hunter x Hunter. One guy! Why, you ask? It's cause he is the laziest mangaka to ever exist. And just yeah. doesn't feel like drawing the panels of the show anytime soon. And he doesn't want to even let other people well, draw as well. Like, video. he doesn't want, he want, like, if you are so slow, like, just hire people and work with them. Like, why are you doing this to us, man? It's the same shit with Game of Thrones, like the books, you know, and it just irritates me when when genius people like that, when people who are so talented at something and they know the impact they left around the world and, don't, and they don't feel not even tiny bit obliged to devote every waking moment of their life for these fans and these people who are appreciative of them and their and their talent. If I had something like that, that people crave, want, love, need, something that impacts other people's life, I would live every day to fulfill it. What is life if it's not meant to be? Why would you be alive if you are not there to make other people happy? Huh? He doesn't freaking care about our happiness. And had so much fun as I had fun making it for you. And I'm curious, what shows or anime do you think should have a comeback? I'd love to make a part two of this and maybe bring some more awareness. Who knows? Maybe we can somehow kickstart another anime okay, to come back. But anyways, in case you did enjoy it, I would appreciate it if you guys would like, comment, I agree with and the Hunter Hunter one at number one, now, definitely. 
I'll catch you later. And that's literally the only one that I saw. The only one uh, from all of these that he mentioned. I wish I saw this, the Magi one. The Magi one looks... Magi as anime scalers. Era. This looks Latin so good because it has the Arabic traditional thing. His Sinbad, Alibaba, Aladdin. Like, come on, man. That sounds cool. <laughs> I'm not